change has come to America. Believe me, help is on the way. Can you think of any laws that give government the power to make decisions about uh, the male body? <laughs> uh, I'm happy to answer a uh, more specific question. But male versus female. <laughs> there are um, medical procedures. Okay. Uh, that the government get, that the government has the power to make a decision about a man's oh, body. I thought you were asking about medical procedures no, that are I, unique to I, men. I can. I, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat the question. Can you think of any laws that give the government the power to make decisions about the male body? I'm not. A, I'm not a thinking of any right now, Senator. What a brilliant jurist. Aren't you proud that we put him on the uh, Supreme Court of the United Such a brilliant, brilliant jurist. <laughs> I love beer, squee. I love beer. Um, yeah. So if men could get pregnant, don't you think? I mean, listen, I'm not the one that invented this uh, expression. You can, you can look it up. Uh, but th- th- there are plenty of women uh, who have come before me who told you that if men got pregnant, abortion would be a sacrament. Right. But here's the truth. The truth is that there are no laws that, you know, intrude into a man's, uh, you know, body. There's just nothing. I mean, you have Tucker Carlson on the Fox News suggesting that you might want to tan your testes. You know, you have that. And uh, you know what? At this point, if I had testes and tanning them would cure COVID, I just might do it. You know, I still have the COVID. I tested this morning. I am so pissed. How's my hair? How's my hair? I, I, you know, it's Wednesday. I can't even go to the salon. I had to clean my own self. I have to clean my own self now. I have to do my own, this straw that is on top of me, this, this is called hair, is what, it, but uh, yeah, I mean, there are no laws that, uh, you know, delve into a man's procreative life, which is insane. Insane when you consider that women are fertile for what? How many days a month? Depends on your cycle, I guess. Uh, let's just assign it some uh, some time period of uh, a week. Let's just say you're fertile for a week. You know that men can impregnate a woman 365 days a year. Do you understand that? And we do nothing at all about that fact. We don't intrude. We don't impose. We don't legislate. We don't uh, leave it to the states to decide. This is uh, this is a, a, a very bad uh, o- overlooking of the cause of the pregnancy in the first place. This is an oversight by our government. And if we're going to live in a freaking theocracy, if we're going to be regulated by religious tyranny, if we're going to have to live in a white, male, Christian-dominated religious society... Uh, which violates the Constitution's Establishment Clause and everything that comes after it, then we need to regulate men's ability to impregnate, uh, you know, anything because they have that ability every single day of their lives, even when they're freaking 80, even when they're 80. You have men that are fathers at 80 years old, new fathers to newborns. (laughs) 